Picking the right motivation to upgrade your mini PC might be a thing, probably because you think you don't have the specialized IT knowledge, or you simply feel you have a big thumb like mine, so you are scared you might end up breaking one, two, or more components within your PC. I totally get it. For many years, I was just like you. Well, I owned a tower PC, never knew what an SSD, RAM, or hard drive was, or even how to take a PC part apart to assess the components on the inside. And when I finally got myself pumped up and picked up the motivation to upgrade my PC, it missed several days to get the whole process sorted out. And in the end, it left my PC unusable and totally ruined for life. But what if I told you there is a mini PC where you literally have to turn two or three screws to take it to a super mega fast PC, ready to take on the demanding power needs of the Adobe suits of programs and many more. The mini PC I'm talking about is the Lenovo Think Center M900. I got this off of eBay for a little over $70. And for a PC at this price range, you can expect to get a Core i5-6400T processor, a minimum of 8GB RAM, and a 256GB SSD sitting right in it. Added to this, the PC comes with a USB 3.0 in front of it, a microphone jack, and a headphone jack. If you have got the right keys to shopping computers off of eBay, then you probably also get a nice quality PC like this one that literally still has all the stickers on it, aka in grade A condition. But at whatever price point you finally get to buy yours, only do ensure that it's the original Lenovo Think Center. Right at the back of this PC, you could expect to get the power ports right here, two display ports, additional USB 3.0 ports. Luckily, I got myself one with a HDMI port right out of the box. For some, this port might be a VGA port or even a serial port. So do ensure to ask and be sure of the configurations you'll be receiving. Right here is the ROJ45 LAN port. Interestingly, I also have a wireless LAN adapter built into this. So to get all this for $70 including delivery, I would say I pretty much got myself a good deal. Holding this PC cover is just a single screw, which is already a game changer if you have a phobia for opening lots of screws. And this you can easily take out with little or no effort using a star head screwdriver. Thereafter, you want to slide the top cover forward away from the PC front panel. In this way, you are able to completely take it out. If your mini PC comes with a SATA hard drive, it will be right here. If not, it's going to be blank just like this. In which case, you have to count yourself lucky because your PC will be rocking a much faster NVMe SSD. Dust is pretty much a thing on most of these PCs. Come to think of it, these PCs were first released a few years ago and probably had an active life in the multinational company and thereafter passed on to the secondary market where they were warehoused in large warehouses before ultimately getting to you. Yes, there are some sellers who will go the extra mile to make sure the PCs are cleaned in and out. but then, it's just dust bro. With this little dust blower, you can get this quickly sorted out. Because this PC has an NVMe SSD, we can pretty much move on to the next screw. Otherwise, you simply have to just deal with the one screw at the back of the PC. So taking out this screw is so easy that you pretty much do not need any screwdriver to take it out. Okay, now that you have that out, you pretty much need your two hands here. Because in some funny way, one tiny cable that connects to the wireless LAN module is also attached to the SSD holder. Once again, if you handle it carefully and gently pull the unit on the side, you should just be fine. At this point, you have to take out the NVMe SSD that came with your PC. In my own case, it's a 256GB NVMe SSD. The lock mechanism on the Lenovo Think Center M900 is so great that it uses a plastic clip to hold down the SSD. So once again, you literally do not have to unscrew anything. Simply pull up the clips using a combination of your two fingers. I typically have big fingers, so in my own case, a flathead screwdriver is what I will use to gently lift up the clip. So if you have decided to upgrade to a bigger NVMe SSD, you simply want to insert it here and thereafter simply reverse the opening process. Ensure that you push the plastic clip down firmly until you hear a little clip but then also not so hard as to break your motherboard. Like I said, this PC came with an 8GB DDR4 RAM. This is definitely basic in 2023 and you should definitely upgrade to a minimum of 16GB. Or if you want to roll with the big boys then 32GB or greater. To take out the RAM, simply push aside the clips holding the RAM sticks one after the other. 
and thereafter lift up the ram stick and then slide it out. At this point, I typically want to grab my portable dust blower and easily blow out all the dust that might be locking within the mini PC. It could be that there are some dust also locking within the RAM slot, so ensure you do not skip this process. I have found this dust blower to be so practical, so I will include a purchase link in the description of this video, so feel free to check it out. Having done that, it's now time to slot in a new RAM stick. In my own case, I have a Vengeance 32GB DDR4 RAM. I mean not Vengeance as in Revenge, but Vengeance as in a good quality DDR4 RAM product and also pretty much revenging the fact that the 8GB RAM was a bottleneck that prevented your PC from performing at its full potential. Now that you have the RAM sticks, you want to go ahead and slot them back in one after the other. Easy. Now let's say you decided to go with the classical 2.5 inch SATA SSD just like me. Then the next step is for you. First things first, you want to gently take out your SSD from the packaging. In this case, I have a 1TB SSD which I got off of Amazon. Ideally, your mini PC should come with some rubber-like clips that holds the SATA SSD onto the SSD holder. But believe me, I bought quite a number of these units and I can tell you for free that chances are high that these rubber-like holders might not be included in the unit. If they are, then good. In this case, you have to hook them onto your SSD before sliding them onto the SSD holder. But if not, then you can pretty much use the classic style of sliding the SSD directly on the SATA connector, just like this. Easy. And thereafter replace this one screw which you took out initially. The beautiful thing is that these SSDs are so lightweight that they pretty much stay firmly in place. At this point you can now safely replace the PC cover and then replace the screw at the back to ensure the PC is properly closed. Given that you have used very decent SSD and RAM products on this mini PC, it should take about 20 minutes or less to install a new Windows 10 Pro operating system on this machine. And if everything goes well with this installation, you should be having a much better experience with your PC even while using a high demanding editing software like Photoshop. But unfortunately, this whole process as simple as it looks might not be without problems. One common problem will be that you have connected your PC but unfortunately you do not have any signal on your monitor. In this way, you want to make sure you watch this next video here as it tells you exactly what steps to take to fix this. Until I see you again, peace.